Hey, what's up? Kyle here again. I'm finally here to do another video. I'm sorry I haven't been making too many videos lately. I've just been so busy with work and and school and a lot of things. But I have a, I'm here to do another DVD update video. And I have a lot of stuff to show in this one. So let's get started. First one I got is... Uh, it's, oh, by the way, I want to mention that you know now my new my new name for YouTube is uh, Movie Buff One. So if so, call me by, by you can call me either Kyle Rapport or Movie Buff Buff or Movie Buff One, whatever you want to do. But anyways, let's get the DVD update started. First one I got is Insidious on DVD, and this was a uh, this is the first one. I I like the second one too, but this is really good. Definitely check this one out if you haven't seen it. It scared the fuck out. This was really scary for a PG-13 movie. I really liked it. Definitely check this out. I don't want to get I can't get into too much detail, and I don't want to give too much away. But I really did like it. Next one I got is from Trauma, and it's Devoured: The Legend of Alpha Packer. He was a real life cannibal he was a real cannibal and I think about the eight I I don't know I don't know when but he was a real life cannibal a long time ago and this is the story based off him also cannibal the musical which is another troll movie was based off him too I didn't even notice that but that's based off Alpha Packer too and this was another this is another one this one was really pretty decent you know it was pretty scary I like it, it made it look like an this movie was so 80s like looks so, like it's a newer movie but it looks so so like it looks like it's made back in the 80s or 70s. It was really good. Kind of remind me of a Grindhouse movie. I really enjoyed this movie. I loved it. Definitely check this one out. And if you like, if you like to learn about Alpha Packer and all that, you can definitely check that out in Cannibal the Musical. And definitely support Trauma, my, my man Lloyd Kaufman. Next one I got is on um, Blu-ray, and it's sit and it's a City Slickers, and um, this was this was fun. I like this movie. I, whatever I don't know whatever happened to Daniel Stern. He used to he used to be in so many movies. Now he's in nothing. I don't know what happened to him. I, you know, I all these celebrity a lot of celebrities just fall off the face of the earth, and I don't know what happens to them. But I really do like him. He's really good. He was you know. Um, then there's Billy Crystal's in this. I like Billy Crystal, the Daniel Stern, Bruno Kirby. I, and this was a this was a good movie. I you know I like the I like the second one better, which I'm gonna show in a second. But this was pretty funny too. You know, not as this one's more of a a, a sweet comedy, like you know more of like a, a more serious comedy. More like it's it's good. Definitely check this out if you haven't seen it. You probably all seen it though. And then next one I'm gonna show is City Slickers Legend of Gold Legend of Curly's Gold. This one I like more for some reason. I, I just thought it was a lot funnier and a lot better plot and everything. It was just really good. And they find this one's basically about they go to find the the you know uh, they're like you know uh, Billy Crystal is seeing Cur thinks he's seen Curly and like you know because he, he t like coming back from the dead and he like f they find they find out that there's uh, under uh, Curly's. Uh, Curly's hat that there's a, a thing of a, a thing uh, which a, ma a map which leads to gold in the in the and which leads to gold and they go find it and they go th and it's really it's just really funny I definitely check this out if you haven't seen it you probably all seen that though definitely check it out next one I got is the the, the complete I got a bootleg of it and it's the complete bo Goosebumps series on on DVD I love Goosebumps and Arl Stein I wanted to meet him at Comic Con that I was put the, the uh, by the way if you haven't checked out my Comic Con video I'll put the link underneath this video for you for the, the Comic Con video and um yeah, sorry. This is a, this is on a delay. I, these are these are old, but I love these Goosebumps movie, these Goosebumps series. I love Goosebumps, and I wish Earl Stein was at that Comic Con, but it, I didn't get to meet him because the line was really long and he didn't show up. You know, I just really want, I hope to meet him sometime. Earl Stein, he's a great author, and I love his books and stuff. And Goosebumps, definitely check these out if you haven't seen. You probably all seen them. These are great shows, and the books are great too. It's based off the based off the books. Next one I got. Uh, next one I got is I got the Mighty Ducks, the Mighty Ducks series, for all three Mighty Ducks series. The first ones. Uh, hold on a second. I got the first. I got the first, first, second, and third. I like these movies. These are great childhood movies that I grew up with. I love these movies. It's a ho these hockey. These uh the Disney hockey movies that were really funny with Emilio Estevez. I definitely check these out if you haven't seen these. I like the. 
I like the first two the best. The third one was pretty good, but they're all they're all good, you know. I always liked the second the best one as a kid when I was a kid. I like the I like them all though. They're all great. First one was great, second one's great, third one's great. I definitely check these out if you haven't seen these. These are great childhood movies of mine. And you, I don't need to get into too much detail to them. Just check them out. Next one I got is, and you all know this, this is a class, another childhood movie of mine that I love, and it's Toy Story. Um, this is the DVD Blu-ray combo pack. I love this movie. This is a, I love Tom Hanks and Tim Allen. This is a great movie. I definitely, I love this movie. I, I, you, I don't need to say anymore. Just check it out. You probably have all seen that, though. Next one I got, and, um, hold on a second. Next one I got is The Frighteners by my, from Michael, and Michael J. Fox is in it. The Frighteners, the unrated director's, the Peter Jackson's director's cut. I don't, there's so many rated, different versions of this. It's crazy. There's like a PG-13 version, then there's an R version, then there's an, there's an unrated version. It's just crazy. But I think this is, this is the unrated version. This is a weird, weird movie. I liked it though, but it was very strange. It had, it's a comedy, horror. I thought this was going to be a serious, like, straight up horror film. I did not know this was going to be funny. I liked, I thought it was okay, you know, funny. It was kind of weird in ways. It was just very strange. I like this movie. Definitely check this out. If you haven't seen that. Next one I got is, this is a, an old mo movie that was in the 90s and it's from, Paul, and, and Pauly Shore is in it and it's Jerry Duty. And with T, Pauly Shore and Tita Korea. Korea, I think, I, I, I don't know how you say her name, but she's in Wayne's World, she's smoking hot. And, um, Pauly Shore, I love Pauly Shore's movies, but this movie was just, I didn't care for this too much. It was just really stupid. It's basically, like, he goes, like, into a, like, he, he's a, he loses every, Pauly Shore loses everything, so he goes to a Jerry Duty, uh, thing. Like, uh, Jerry, he goes for Jerry Duty, and it's just really stupid. I don't know. I didn't care for this too much. It was just, I don't know. It wasn't the funniest thing. It wasn't the worst thing I've seen, but it wasn't fun that great. Next one I got, I'm trying to do the DVDs before the Blu-rays. <laughs> Next one I got is a horror, f an, an, an old horror, an 80s horror film, and it's A Blade in the Dark. This movie creeped the shit out of me. I like this movie. This is really good. This is one, one to check out if you haven't seen it. It's Blue Underground, and it's uh, the, one of the kid, the little boy from a house by the cemeteries in it. Um, the guy, the guy from no, the kid, the one, the the from the the one of the guys from New York Ripper is in it, and I just really like this. This was creepy, and it's an it's a slasher film. I really enjoyed this one. If you haven't seen it, it's, it's like about a movie, like a movie, like you know, a movie director, and then there's killing, there's people are getting killed off. It's just really good. I definitely check this out if you haven't seen it. And the end, like, there's the shot, the killer at the end is very shocking. I'm not gonna say what, but it's just, it's like this. I don't want to say too much, too much, but it's just really good. Definitely check this out. Next one I got is another Polly Shore, and this is a spoof on one of my favorite favorite movies, but it's not, and it's the Bogus Witch Project. This was shit. This was the shittiest thing I've ever watched. I shut this off. I don't even want to get into to do. It's just it's it's basically these sto these like it's shorts that are spoof like sh different shorts of spoofs on Blair Witch. It's just really terrible. It's just terrible. I don't know. Don't check this out. No wonder it was no wonder it was so cheap to buy. It was only five bucks. No wonder it was five bucks on Amazon. It was a piece of shit. Don't check that out.